Hey y'all, my name's Tyson. This week we're gonna look at some places where you can go out and find extensions for SketchUp. So if you already use extensions, then you know how powerful they can be. Extensions uh, can make you more uh, efficient. They can add entirely new tool sets to SketchUp. Um, they're a lot of things you can do with extensions. So they really extend the functionality of SketchUp. We're gonna look at the two places primarily where you can go out and start looking for extensions. And have a look. All right, so the first place we're gonna look is SketchUp's own extension warehouse, uh, which is this icon, or if you go to the extensions menu, you can say, the extension warehouse, the extension manager. Now from here, you can just, if you've never used extensions, you can sort of just browse through different um, categories of what might be out there, or you can search for a keyword. So for example, we recently introduced a very powerful flip tool, but before that, there were some mirror tools that made uh, flipping objects more powerful in SketchUp. So for example, the Curic mirror, that was a favorite of mine in the past. I could click on this and I could install it directly from the extension warehouse if I've got it open here in SketchUp. Now, you will need to be signed in for this to work. So it, you'll be prompted to sign in, but from there, you can just install it directly from here. Once you've installed exten uh, extensions, whether you install them from our warehouse or from uh, somewhere else, then the extension manager becomes handy, which I also is here. <laughs> Lost my view. But the extension manager. It will tell you any extensions you have installed, no matter where you installed them from. So I've got a lot of extensions here. I can come along and say, you know what, this is um, too many for, for what I need right now. Maybe I would come through and say, I'm gonna disable a few of these and then those would not load the next time uh, I start SketchUp. There's also a place where you can uninstall extensions you have you have uh, installed in SketchUp and update, you know, check for updates because extensions do get updated with new functionality or based on new versions of SketchUp. So the extension manager is very helpful for that. So that is the starting place where you can go looking, the extension warehouse. And you can do that from extensions.sketchup.com. You can do that in a web browser. Um, if I were to do the same thing here, instead of installing directly into SketchUp, because I'm in a web browser, I would download this file. And it will download as what's called an RBZ file. And let's keep that in mind for a moment. Now, the other place that I want to show where to look for files is the Sketchucation store. It's also a warehouse of sorts of plugins. So if you go to sketchucation.com, and if you just want to browse, they've got sort of a forum um, interface to talk about different plugins and the functionality of them. But if I go to here I can say plugin store download and I can download the Sketchucation store. And that's going to download as that file we talked about, that RBZ file. So Sketchucation tools, RBZ. Let's keep that in mind and come back here to our extension manager. If you have downloaded any RBZ file, either from our warehouse or somewhere else, you can install it right here. So I've got the extension manager open. I'm going to say install extension. 
and just point to the RBZ file that I want. So that was the Sketchication store. Here's a component stringer. So I can open, and now component stringer is installed. That's how you can install any extension that you find out there and didn't directly install. If I look through the menus, just as a heads up, when you install extensions, they're typically created by external developers and the functionality, they could show up anywhere. So if I look at my view tool palettes, I've got a bunch of different tool palettes for extensions. Some of them might show up under the draw or tools menu. And some of them will show up under extensions. So they could show up all over. Let's have a look at the Sketchucation extension store. After I've installed that RBZ file through the extension manager, I'm going to click on this red button and that opens their extension store. And from here, I could search and install other extensions directly. Keep in mind that a lot of extensions um, can be found on directly on our extension warehouse, but not all extensions. Some developers like supporting these external sites like Sketchucation, and they list a lot of their um, extensions here or on their own sites. So it's just worth looking out there for different extensions. So I install directly from here, and that is the Sketchucation store. So those are the two main areas, our uh, extension warehouse and the Sketchucation store. But again, once you've downloaded the Sketchucation uh, store, you can install directly in SketchUp and you can install directly in SketchUp with the warehouse, or you can find and download those RBZ files and install them there. Lots of options. All right, I hope that made sense. I know it was sort of a, a bit of jumping around between windows, but again, just keep that in mind. Those are the two places to go looking to start with. It's not all, uh, it's not the full extent of where you can go find extensions for SketchUp, but it is a good place to start. Extension Warehouse and the Sketchucation site where you can download their Sketchucation store. Again, you'll need to sign in to access either one. Hope that was helpful. Do hope that if you haven't used extensions yet that you'll dive in and use them. They are only available on the desktop version of SketchUp, so they're not available on iPad, they're not available for the web version of SketchUp, just the desktop uh, version of SketchUp. Uh, with that said, let us know what you think, let us know what other topics you'd like us to cover in these videos. And uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe, and give us a like and we'll see you next time.